Josh Kirby. I was just your average ninth grader. My biggest problem <laughs> was getting good grades. And my idea of excitement was racing my bicycle. <laughs> yes! I never thought time would catch up with me. But I couldn't have imagined. But hundreds of years from now, mankind would invent the nullifier. A device capable of controlling or destroying the universe. Prepare for the storm. A scientist named Erwin 1138 tried to disassemble and hide the nullifier. But even he couldn't stop. Dr. Zoetrope! Give me the nullifier. You're too late, Zoetrope. It's never too late for me. Erwin and Zoetrope have been chasing each other across the time stream, trying to be the first to find the nullifier's pieces. This time, they're gonna land in 1995. The place, my front yard. Now, I'm going along for the ride of all time. What's going on? Where are we? I hope you're prepared to do battle, young man. This will be a war through time, and Dr. Zoetrope will take no prisoners. We've got help from a warrior. My name is Elizabeth Siege. Oh, she's amazing! And a magical creature called Prism to show us the way. Together, we're on a quest through time, visiting different worlds to fight for the Nullifier's pieces. I'm obviously in the right place and the right time. Because if Zoetrope ever assembles the Nullifier, he'll conquer time itself. I've got to try and save the universe. before my adventure began. But now, I'm Josh Kirby, Time Warrior. On the last chapter of Josh Kirby, Time Warrior. Dreadnought, the enslaver and his forces have had us under constant siege. You know what I want? The enslavement of your entire planet. <laughs> He's taking the carrier into his tractor beam. He's buying it. Closer. Closer.
Ambassador. Lob thrusters? These are a delicacy on my planet. No. Ouch! Holy! Oh, that didn't tickle, you know. Erwin? Yeah? Erwin, um, what's happening? Fascinating. <laughs> Fun guy. Yeah, yeah, they look like they could be fun guys. No, 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 no. Fun guys. Fun guy. I mean, parasitic bacterial organisms that thrive mainly on moisture and nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah, they're mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. I hate them. Except on pizza. Oh, beloved furry one. All great and powerful, you have finally come to deliver us from the country. We've Erwin? Yeah? Erwin, why are they praying to Prism? Well, apparently, they, they, they must think Prism is some form of deity. Yeah, right. The furry one. Yes. No, be careful with Prism, Mushroom Folk. He's one of a kind. Thank you for delivering the furry one back to his rightful place. How's the breath? Don't worry, Josh. She's probably just a little bit woozy from the air down here, that's all. Erwin. Erwin, that mushroom she ate. It could be that these fungi aren't meant for consumption by carbon-based life forms. You mean she's poisoned? That could very well be the case, yes. It's not my fault. She took a bite out of me. Hmm. This is too much. She won't die, will she? I mean, she only take one bite. Well, organisms have different tolerances relative to a dose of poison. The line between no effect at all and a lethal dose can be very thin. It's all right. I'm better now. Okay. Erwin, we've got to find an antidote. Yes, but where? How? I don't know. There's got to be a way. It is a tragedy to happen to such a, a loyal disciple of any furry one. Our king will know what to do. Come. Come. What is the meaning of bringing in these strange beings into my royal chamber? Lord Truffle, these are the furry one's followers. The signorina, she took a bite out of one of your loyal subjects. Now she's a very sick. I tell them maybe you know what to do. Lord Truffle, the furry one is most bummed out at the illness of his loyal follower. So could you help her? <laughs> I summon the royal doctor. <laughs> Please to say, ah. I'm not about to let you stick that evil torture device in my mouth. Elizabeth, relax. It's just a tongue depressor. My tongue is depressed enough, Josh Kirby. Elizabeth, let him look. He's just trying to help. Ah. Ah. Oh. 
What's wrong? Heat four of cavities. Must brush more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. Look, what's wrong with her? Please understand, I am only humble shroom physician. Huh? Doc? Hey, Doc. You think you can take a look at this? You took bite? Yes. Oh, no. Very bad. Only one antidote. Must taste from one of shroom spores. Puffball. So where do we find this puffball guy? Oh, I am very sorry, but uh, Puffball is no longer with us. Puffballs have been uh, snatched by the muncher. Oh. Then we'll just have to snatch him back. Uh, what manner of creature is this muncher? Oh, it is a most horrible, horrible beast. It traps and eats shrooms for breakfast, lunch, and dinner without stock. Muncher first appeared at Dream Cavern. Was once most beautiful place. Biggest tour attraction of all the shroom town. But now off limits. It has turned the entire shroom economy into a shambles. Now it's called Nightmare Hollow. Nobody go there no more. But surely it's just a matter of time before this, this monster, um, muncher, do you call him, uh, tracks you down here. Yeah, that's why we gotta find him first. Look, we'll find Puffball, get the antidote for Azabeth, and get rid of this muncher thing all at the same time. Not a difficult mission when armed with a 25th century scientific marvel such as my power staff. <laughs> huh? Blast! I must have forgotten to recharge the firing mechanism before I left the time pod. Look, please, you've got to help us. You've got to lead us to this nightmare hollow. Oh, great fairy one, accept my most humble apologies. I cannot accede to the wishes of your groveling servant. The road to nightmare hollow is sure soon suicide. Yes, no maybe. one who goes there, soon or not, will ever return alive. Well, look, we're going. With or without your help. And the furry one's coming with us. Boy, you forget yourself. You are talking to the ruler of all shrooms. Hey! The audience is over. We have much more important business on our agenda. What'd you do to Prism? I have put the furry one to sleep for today. He needs his rest, as, as all of us below ground do. Guards! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take the furry one's followers to the grotto for their own protection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For cheating! I'm sorry. With us. You must do as Lord Trapple says. Come on. This way. Lord. May we not let the furry one's disciples go after Puffball. It could mean the Signorina's life. How, how can you ask that, Porcini? You know that the muncher has seriously decimated our population. You also know that I am cultivating new subjects in the Royal Cave Gardens, even as we speak. Our numbers are few. Are you asking me to risk antagonizing the muncher just when we've begun to rebuild them? No. No, uh, there it is. I, I understand the Your Highness, but 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 you see. Uh, but uh, but uh, nothing, Porcini. The issue is closed. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Burning up. Yeah. You gotta get out of here! Not the best of occasions for your time powers to be in rejuvenation mode. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I must ask you for a very great favor. Shitaki will see if he can grant. The Furry One's followers, they need our help. Lord Truffle forbids it, but I know he's wrong. I agree with you, Porcini. You do? I've been considering the same issue myself. Come to the same conclusion as you. That's a wonderful. I will lead them to Nightmare Hollow myself. Nightmare Hollow? But they must take the furry one with them too. No problem! Shitaki can get a furry one released by telling Lord Truffle furry one needs full medical examination. Oh, that's a terrific. <laughs> you get the furry one and... Uh, Meet me at the grotto. Hi! You two are dismissed. Go get us some chow. Chow time. Okay, <laughs> Senorina. I'm all right. Prison? Wait, but he's still asleep. Yes, I could not wake. Shroom King sleep spores, especially strong. When will he wake up? Could happen soon. Or oh, not so soon. What will happen? Until then, Shitaki would be honored if you carry 31 in Shitaki's papoose. Yeah. This is for you, to eat. What is it? Beetroot. Beetroot make you better. But listen carefully. Work for 12 yabadabas only. 12 yabadabas? How are we supposed to know how long that is? When sand runs out, her time is up. Is there any way you can give us a couple more? Afraid not. Beetroot ancient, very rare. If you not to find the puffball before time runs out, she fall into deep sleep. Never wake up. Josh, look. I know you care deeply about Lazarus Siege, as I do. Sometimes you've got to look at the big picture. There is still the universe to save. What good is the universe without your friends? But besides, this muncher thing, it eats shrooms. Probably people. And I'll bet it eats nullifier components. Point well taken. Now, if the nullifier components brought us here, the pieces must be lost somewhere in this cavern. Let us go, my friends. Time is over the essence. Where, where do you see water? 
It's everywhere. Oh, she's hallucinating, Josh. Must be a side effect of the poison. Oh, mamma mia! What's happening to the funny one? Oh, oh, oh. Even his asleep prison is sniffing the nullifier component. It must be this way. Wait, wait. We've got to save Azabeth. Relax. This won't take long, Josh. Shortcut should take us to Nightmare Hollow in half of the time. Excellent. After you. No, after you. Grazie, signore. So, Roman. I really hope so. The name is Ding. Good morning. I, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. How come you would sleep? Uh, Ding a dong, not now. You can grovel later. Right now, you must join me to help the funny one and his servants rescue the lost ones. This girl here, she's sick. If we don't find your daddy puffable soon, she's gonna get sicker. Hey, by the way, your mama, she's worried sick about you. Yeah, well, I know she's been worried about dad too ever since he disappeared. Maybe if anyone had the nerve to form a search party, there might be some shred of hope. Hey, Porcini, who's your pal? What's it to you, freak? Freak? Who are you calling freak? You're the talking mushroom. Oh, 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 Josh, Josh, uh, Josh. This is a ding a dong. Please, excuse him. Uh, he, he's Papa. Disappeared in Nightmare Hollow last week. His uh, Papa is a puffer ball. The same a mushroom we see, okay? Oh, that lousy muncher. I'm gonna turn him into shroom food if it's the last thing I do. Oh! You too young for vendetta, ding a dong. Think so? I'm gathering enough ammunition to get the muncher all by myself. Very brave, my boy, but also very foolish. A well-thought-out plan is the best weapon you can have. Those are my plans right there. That's plan A, that's plan B, and this is plan C. 
Not bad. But you may want to discard some of the heavier stones. Although they appear more threatening, they can throw off your aim and in the end be less effective than one perfectly aimed slow shot. Cool. I never had that effect on a female before. Oh, look, she's sick. We've got to find the muncher and your father and, uh, well, in however many Yabadavas this is. I'll show you the way. It can get pretty dark up ahead. And there are millions of passages leading every which way. And my ringing will come in handy. And then we could really kick some muncher butt. I would be proud to kick some muncher butt alongside you, young Ding Dong. Yeah, me too, pal. Josh Kirby, I, I just need to catch my breath. Oh, the sky. Out of the sky, look, look out. What's wrong with her? As of a sea, she's hallucinating. Yeah, but then are they happen for real? Yeah, that's right. They're like uh, premonitions. She heard the bells ringing and then we met Ding Dong. What does she mean by out of the sky? I don't know, I guess we keep looking up. What is the source of your ringing, little Ding Dong? I get it from my dad's side of the family, the bell shrooms. Oh. Are you capable of controlling it? I'm trying to learn. It's not easy. I'm only 13. Older shrooms can make all kinds of rings whenever they want to. Bell shrooms are most respected among our people. They can make a pleasing music or sound the alarm when danger threatens. I'm all right now. We can go on. Oh, my nice. awesome. Look, prison's on the trail of another nullifier component. He's almost better at it asleep than he is awake. Erwin, we don't have much time. This won't take long. That's what you said last time. Prism's coat of many colors. It never lies, I know. But maybe he's malfunctioning. There's a first time for everything. That's the 11th coat of Kang. Oh, remember, we gotta be watching the sky. Are you getting shorter or am I getting taller? No, we're exactly the same. I can't just let it go. You must. Uh, no, I 
won't! Josh Kirby, I refuse to let you die this way! Stand the back! Porcini! I got it! Give me your hand! One nudge, I'll have a stadium, one nudge! What's that? <laughs> it's another nullifier component. It stands to reason. If all the pieces were strewn here during the cave-in, then, then there must be pieces that are hidden from plain sight. <laughs> oh. hey, how'd you manage to pull us both out? Oh, don't think it just because we're small and we're not strong. <laughs> oh. That certainly was a close call. Yeah, I'd say. We could have missed finding this nullifier component. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Porcini, does the furry one show any signs of uh, waking up? Afraid or not, he's still in furry one dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How old are you anyway, Ding? Fifteen. Oh, yeah? I'm fourteen. Yeah, you don't look tall for your age. Maybe here. Back home, I'm kind of average. So I guess you're pretty worried about your dad, huh? Yeah, even though he really bugs me sometimes. I told him once, I wish he'd go away. Gee, I really didn't mean it. Sure. We all say things we're sorry for later. Well, my dad can be a real pain in the cap. The funny thing is, now I miss him bugging me. Yeah, I know what you mean. For sure. We should have moved on, my friends. Josh. Looking than you. Do all females of your kind look like her? Well, not really. But kind of. She comes from, well, the best way I can describe it is an alternate future. Future? You mean another time? Yeah. Azabeth's from a twisted version of the 33rd century. Erwin's from what will hopefully once again be the 25th century. And I'm from the strictly legitimate 20th century. How could that happen? Well, we have pieces of what is called the nullifier component. It's powerful enough to destroy the universe. Erwin's been traveling in a time pod he invented to try and recover all the pieces. And I've been helping him. You've been helping him destroy the universe? Why? Oh, no, no. I've been helping him keep this other guy, Dr. Zoetrope, from getting all the pieces. See, Zoetrope's crazy enough to want to reassemble the nullifier and destroy the world. Erwin chased one of the components to my backyard, and I kind of got stuck helping him. For a while, it was kind of a race against time and through time to beat Zoetrope in getting all the pieces. But now Zoetrope's gone, and we've still got to get all the pieces before we can retrace our steps through time and restore the natural order of the time stream. So that's how you made Aspen? Yeah. We just came from her own time, where she helped lead her people in a slave revolt. Wow. And we've been in so many adventures. We rode dinosaurs in medieval England, 
escaped from a giant mutant kid who had us trapped as human pets. Zoe, after all you've been through, the mushrooms not scare you at all. <sighs> Away. Nothing scares me now. For you, Josh Kirby. Yeah, you're telling Ooh. me. We should press on, people. Asbeth, can you walk? Yes. Asbeth is right about looking up. I wonder what's next. Oh. The walls. Pictures on the walls. The story. The story is true. Well, what kind of she mean? It's paintings on walls. Uh, Could mean anything. I'm not so sure, mister. Me, I like to know what's on the itinerary myself. Painting on the wall. Hey, the wall is painted! Holy moly. Fascinating. Ooh. It's like the catacombs beneath the ancient city of Mushroom. UFOs and aliens. You can't see the forest for the trees, boy. The centerpiece of this entire painting is the nullifier device. This whole thing has gotten really weird. Ding it all. This is a much bigger than our little shroom world has ever seen it before. Erwin, look. There's another one over here. More than one. Erwin, there's got to be more than one nullifier. Impossible. See for yourself. Well, this painting appears to be genuine. Let's time date it. Dates at 12 million years old. But if there's another nullifier device, where could it be? I don't know. This whole painting belongs to an alien culture that's completely unknown to me. It has a history no one knows. I bet the furry one knows. Hey, what do you mean, a thing Adam? Doesn't anyone but me notice something about the furry one and these little guys? Great jumping irons. I think the little bell shroom is onto something. Hello. Oh. There is a shroom legend about such a thing like this painting. 
All of the mushrooms know the sacred of the story. The funny one? He come here many, many years ago. And he come from a far, far away. They hold in their hands the secrets of the universe. And only they know how to use the secrets. Hey! It is the funny ones that keep everything in order. In order? They make the Mushroom Kingdom what it is today. They keep things going in the right way. You know, like the... Um... How was it, the The progress of things. The water. The water. It comes down to us from the stream up there. So we grow and the prosper down here. Each day, we know there is a next day. End it like that. Capish? You mean the time continuum? Don't you see what he's saying? He's saying that the furry ones established linear time on this planet, without which you would have no progress. Because in random time, it's impossible to build tomorrow on today. Erwin, are you saying that Prism is the key to the secrets of the universe? No, Josh. Not the key, but a key. This whole picture is like... like pages in a book. Look. On this page, you have the furry ones abducting the nullifier from these alien people. And here you have the boat, which has always been a symbol for the transfer of knowledge from one age to the other, is bringing the knowledge to another people. And here, the furry ones have hundreds, if not thousands, of nullifiers. While on the last page... Yeah, what about the last page? The last page is being written now, Josh. It's a sacrilege! How dare you speak it this way about the furry one? You hairless, ignorant, the smoother skins should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm reminded of the very first quote of Kang. Yeah, what's that one again? Things are not always as they appear. You're right.
Dabba is to know that Hasbeth hasn't got much time. Look, Prism sniffing another nullify component. It can't be too far off. Maybe they came in my chair. in the heart of a nightmare hollow now. Oh, this is a much of territory for sure. What makes you say that? I just to feel it. The second code of Kang tells us a warrior must always trust his instincts. When did this muncher monster begin to make its presence felt by you mushroom people? It seems like a forever. You don't know measure the things are the same, or like time, when you live so scared. Has anyone ever seen this muncher? No one who came back. I saw it. Think it all. You saw the muncher take your daddy? Oh, that's a terrible. It all happened so fast. I tried, but I couldn't do anything. I kept yelling for my dad to follow me, but it was like he was in some sort of trance. I felt it too. I was practicing my ringing when it all came upon us. That's how come I think I wasn't taken with the others. Hypnosis. It must use hypnosis to attract its prey. That must be why you were able to escape. If you were ringing, your mind must have been so full of emotion that it couldn't be lured into the muncher's trap. Yeah, that's right. You were so busy worrying about your father, you didn't have time to do anything else. Wow. So my dad saved me? In a manner of speaking, yes. But all I did was panic and cover myself with moss. I don't know what happened after that. It got real quiet, and then everybody was gone. You were very brave, young Ding Dong. And you couldn't have done anything except get munched yourself. But you behaved as a warrior. And now you're prepared for the battle. Warrior? I'm not a warrior. All I did was hide and run away. He who fights and flees the fray lives to fight another day. By any chance, would that be a code of pain? Number six. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. I'm fine, I just tripped on something. How big do you say this muncher is? That's his footprints. You figure it out. Oh, no, not a footprint. I've had quite enough of monster giants and mutants for one lifetime, thank you very much. Hey, everybody, look at the funny one's hair. You've done it again. <laughs> That's right, the muncher must have stepped on one of the nullifier components. <laughs> Thank heaven they're indestructible. 
I just noticed something. Every time we pick up one of these things up, something go wrong. It's like they are jinxed or booby trapped. Well, Chile, that's absolute coincidence. Totally unscientific. There's no pattern here. Two times we'll establish a pattern. But twice is mere coincidence. Everyone, huh? Shh. What have you done with Shh. Them? Shh. I can explain everything, okay? Take it easy, young man. Oh, see, it, <laughs> it's really quite an amusing thing. You see, it's really, it's really quite amusing. Over here. What? Take a look at this. What are we here? What? Oh, ha. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Beauregard T. Damon. Colonel Beauregard T. Damon, Master Shaw, intergalactic entrepreneur, voyager, inventor, and patron of the arts. And uh, you are? It's ingenious. I mean, I, is this muncher is actually an incredibly sophisticated animatronic. Puppet? Yes, yes. It's a creation of my own, in fact. It's quite effective in trapping alien species. Hang on a little ding a dong. I'm on my way. Look, those alien species are our friends. everyone. We're looking for a shroom called Puffball, and we need him right now. Well, I will take you to them. It's not far. Don't Mind your heads. Now. 
collecting these alien species for, anyway? Pets? Slaves? My stars, no, nothing so primitive. No, see, I feature the natural wonders of the universe in my very own intergalactic circus. <laughs> Oh, an intergalactic circus. Yes, yeah, well, it's my, my primary venture into the world of entertainment presently. I travel the cosmos in my little chuck wagon. The rest, collecting various creatures and bringing them together under one tent. <laughs> so it's like a freak show. Yes! No, no, no. <laughs> Hello, youth. No, see, my big top travels from one planet to the next, educating, huh? E D U C A T -E I N G N I N G right educating alien cultures as to the the vast variety the, the possibilities of nature. Yeah. So where are you from? Well, well, I've I've planted myself in every corner of the universe at one time or another, but I was born in the United Federation. Of American colonies. You mean the United States of America? What? The, the USA? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's ancient history, son. <laughs> well, what, what time machine did you step out of? And the what? next thing you're going to tell me is that you've never heard of the talking ape era of the 21st century. <laughs> no, 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 I've heard. <laughs> come, come, come! I think you'll find this quite relieving. Glad to see you. What are you doing here? Well, the center of most worlds I've been to harbor an internal sun. Jules Verne is right. <laughs> Hasbeth, are you okay? <sighs> no, it can't be too late. There's still some sand left. Every estimate has a margin of error, Josh. Josh, I. Slipping rather quickly, Josh. Where's Puffball? Where, where is he? He's in there. Bring him here quick. Hurry! Hasbeth? Hasbeth, wake up. No, no, don't fall asleep. You'll be okay. <laughs> right here. Elizabeth. No. I'm afraid it's too late. She slipped into a terminal deep sleep, just like Dr. Shiitake said she might. On behalf of all of the mushrooms, Josh, I want to say that we are so sorry that we are the cause of your sorrow. No. No, we've got to do something. Look, you say you're the smartest man in the universe, so just do something. Sorry, Josh. There's some problems even I can't solve. If I could alter the situation, I would. I'm just a scientist, not a magician. I can't perform miracles. I don't need a miracle. All I need is a few minutes. 
they were taken from me, and I'm gonna get them back. Just a few minutes. All I need is a few minutes. Just five minutes. Come on. Okay, Asbeth. Medicine's supposed to taste bad. What are you trying to do? Poison me? Just now. I was somehow able to t t turn back time. What? No one's ever been able to create a time storm before without using a chronal displacement device of some sort. Yeah. Well, I did. I mean, Azabeth was almost out of time. I had to do something. You did it. But it worked. Yeah. Mind. 